Peer review is a critical evaluation process in academic and scholarly communities that ensures the quality, validity, and reliability of scholarly research before it's published. Peer review journals will ask experts in the field of study to review the research articles before they're published to make sure that they're good. You can limit your search results to only peer reviewed journals uh, using the left hand column limiters here. So scrolling down under content type, there's a checkbox next to peer reviewed that you can select that will limit the results to only articles that appear in peer reviewed journals. To examine an article more closely, click on view full text and select whichever option is most applicable to your needs. This article was published in the International Journal of Emerging Technologies and Learning, which is an online peer reviewed journal. In addition to being from a peer reviewed journal, this article has a few markers of scholarly quality that we can look for whenever we're doing academic research. The abstract will give us a very quick summary of what the article is about, as well as what methods they used and what conclusions they can draw. Most academic work will come with some section related to a literature review or something to do with related work. Um, this just uh, summarizes previous research on the topic or uh, similar topics uh, that the authors found useful in preparing their study. For original research art articles, there will almost always be some sort of study design or research methodology section. This will explain how they went about studying the thing that they wanted to study. Um, so things like surveys, interviews, um, lab experiments, uh, depending on the field of study. Um, this will all be described here in the methodology or study design section, so you can find out how they studied what they wanted to study. And generally, there'll be a results section or a discussion section um, that summarizes what their findings are um, and provides you with some indication of what that means um, in terms of discussing how it can be applied to our understanding of the topic. Um, also, many articles will include some sort of conclusion as well as an indication of future directions for uh, research in the area. And finally, there's a reference list. We'll go over this in another part of the tutorial, uh, but it's nice to look out for uh, a long list of references. Uh, what this means is that these uh, authors have done a really thorough job in uh, researching this topic and have found a lot of different sources, not just um, writing from their own perspective, but also using other people's ideas in their work.